What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're gonna to go through how Drake and 21 Savage's Rich Flex was made. Let's get into the video. This beat was produced by Tay Keith, FNZ, Vinyls, and Boogs to Beast. And for my Patreon supporters, the FLP and the Stems are now exclusively available to you guys, as well as all the other remakes on my channel. Once again, all available on Patreon. So with Rich Flex, if you've listened to the entire song, you'll know that there are two distinct beats, and we'll be breaking down both of those today. And hopefully, we'll be able to play the remake over my speakers and pick it up on Shazam as the original song. So let's get started with beat number one. We're first off sampling Sugar I Want You Girl, comes in around two minutes in. First up, we're speeding up the sample to the tempo of the project, which is 153.2 BPM. Then we're bringing up the pitch by six semitones and leaving the timbre at zero. Then we're adding an EQ, adding a high pass filter, so only these frequencies are playing, these frequencies are being removed. So that's the first sample. Now we have the second sample, which comes from a movie called Invasion of the Bee Girls. Comes in at around 56 minutes and 46 seconds. I don't know how they found this sample. And we're chopping out these two parts from the sample. Speeding it up. Then for effects, we're gonna be adding an EQ or a filter, cutting out the low end. Then some chorus to give it a chorusy, a spacey sort of effect. Then finally some RC20 retro color, adding some space reverb, bringing up the tone and bringing up the width. All right, all right, that's enough sampling. Let's jump into the drums. First off, we have the identical kick. This kick is actually the Montero kick, as in it's the exact same kick that was used in Lil Nas X's Montero. And you can see this kick is identical by comparing the waveforms to the original song. Look at this, it matches perfectly, but there's too much high end going on. So we're adding a low pass filter to it. And that's gonna sound like this. Then we have a snare. The hi-hat, which is the BWB Wave 3 hi-hat 25. And this is the identical hi-hat, except we have to bring down the pitch by 140 cents, which is a very minor change, but you can see that when you look at the original song. So this is the original, and this is the hi-hat. We're just gonna make a basic two-step loop. So you can right-click on this sample and go fill each two steps. Add in a couple of extra notes. Then we have an open hat. Finally, we have the 808, which is the spins 808. Then before we get into the second beat, we have one more sample to go through, and this is during the transition. So we're coming back to the first song I showed you, Sugar, I Want You Girl, and we're gonna be playing it at 32 seconds. Then once again, we're speeding up the sample to the tempo of the song, which is 153.2 currently. Then let's bring down the pitch by five semitones. Finally, we're adding a high pass filter, once again, removing some of the low frequencies. And that comes into the next beat. I'm getting ahead of myself, so let's move back. 
first thing we're introducing is the piano. Control Q and Control L. And let's bring down the volume. You can find this preset in FL keys. It is the grand piano preset. Then we have a second piano coming in, just playing these chords. Then let's add in the hi-hat. And let's just go fill each two steps. And we're adding in a couple more notes here and there. And that's gonna sound like this. Add in the snare. And the snare is gonna sound like this originally. And we're gonna be heavily compressing it like it was done in the original song. So I'm gonna be adding in the first plugin that I've ever made actually, which is called Presser. This is a compression plugin. I made this plugin with WA Productions. You can see my little logo right there. With this plugin, it sounds really clean, even at the maximum settings. So I'm able to really heavily compress this snare without getting any sort of audio quality loss. So that's a really big benefit for this plugin. This is before and after. So if you'd like to check out the plugin, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Then we have one more sound coming in before we get to the final result, and this is the 808. Once again, we're using the Spins 808, but we are modifying it this time. So we're going into the pre-computed effects, and we're bringing up the boost to 9%, as you can see in the top left. Then we're going to the volume settings, and make this exact envelope for yourself. So you want to leave the delay and the attack at zero, and bring the hold up to 3%, and we're going to be treating this as the transient, so the loudest part. Then you want to have a really short decay. I had this at 1%. Then bring the sustain down to the level that you actually want the 808 to play at. So if we go into the mixer, you can see that very initial punch of the sound is clipping. The rest of it goes down to three to nine decibels. So this is before and after. This is an amazing thing to know because it means that the 808 sounds the exact same, except now it's punching a lot harder. Anyway, that's it for the instrumental. This is the final result. Anyway, that's it for the remake. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.